DJ, somebody's in the house. Now, during the last few shows, we told you how a digital camera works. We talked to you about how to take a decent digital photo. Today, our own Brett Larson is kicking by to teach us how to pick the right digital camera for your needs. And yes. you know what? Let's talk about it. We're going to start with the expensive. We're going to start with the way down to the cheap. All right. Good. Okay. That's how it should be. And, you know, we're going to actually, this is the E10. The E10. I, I love this camera. What are we talking about here in a price range right this now? This is going to set you back about $2,000. That's a uh, lot of money. Yeah, it's about a year old now, so you might actually be able to find it for maybe closer to a thousand. But uh, it's well, the reason it's so expensive is it's actually an SLR camera. So uh, a single digital. lens reflex. So right. like a, a nice 35 millimeter camera. What you see here yes. is what's actually coming in. There. It's sort of the WYSIWYG of WYSIWYG. cameras because what, what you, you see, see in is here is actually what you're going to get. Very what's nice. also nice about the E10 is it uh, it takes both um, smart media and compact flash, which is great. And uh, that, that allows you to hold a lot, of, a lot of stuff. You can see there the compact right. flash is empty. It also takes the, uh, the what's the word I'm looking for? The lens. micro drive. Uh, <laughs> the lens doesn't come off, though, okay. which is a problem for a lot of people. But, you know, there's a reason. You don't want to get dust on the CCD. Is it? it what kind of? Are we talking like a 4-megapixel camera? This here, is or? a 4. Oh, I didn't mention that. This is a 4-megapixel camera. That means there's Four lots of megapixels. Tiny dots there's so much data pictures. when you take pictures with this camera, you'll just be amazed. Which is why you need all those memory You, you need slots. like a 30 inch TV to see all the picture, all the uh, picture quality. What's nice though is it has these little screw on attachments, which are which are good to uh, to make it more telephoto or more wide angle. On top of what's already included, it's an it's nine to thirty six. So, so if I, good. this is for serious this, photography, yeah, this is this for is like a thirty five millimeter your camera. National Geographic tour to Africa, you would want to take something like. What this. about if I have like thousands invested in like Nikon or Olympus lenses? Are there there are digital backs that can go in those? There cameras? are actually some digital backs. Kodak has a nice digital back. It's uh, it's twenty thousand dollars actually. <laughs> let's, let's step on to the next. Yeah, one. let's so, go to the uh, mid range. Don't get the house. Get the camera. Here it is on the. It's the DCS Pro Back Plus. Twenty thousand dollars, but it's sixteen megapixels. If you're doing digital spreads or if you're going to do a magazine spread or something, you're, you're going to want that. I understand. Uh, that our executive producer Paul really wants to see a still from that forty-two million dollar camera. Do we have a still to show on that? Uh, we have a forty-two million dollar camera. Oh, I think it's the twenty thousand one. Oh, okay, well, okay. Confusing. Well, let's move on. <laughs> this is the. Uh, this is the digital L. This is another right. favorite of mine. So these are mid-price. What are we talking about? A couple hundred to seven hundred, a couple hundred this to a thousand dollars? This is the three to five hundred okay. range, which is actually really nice. This is a two megapixel camera. What you're going to get with this is uh, great for taking five by sevens. If you want to print five by sevens, you also want to put your stuff up on the web. This is the camera you're going to want to okay. get. This, uh, this is also the one we're giving away. Very nice. There's a review of this Nikon on, uh, online at thescreensavers.com. Oh, and this one's going to come with some pictures on it. We've been taking pictures with this around the office. So when you get this camera... Let's see. You just got a picture of my undershirt. Uh, that's which is good, and my badge, my security badge that I'm wearing. So you'll you'll get to see what my security not, not badge looks like. Not just straight, let's say we have a telephoto lens in here. It does. It's only 3x though. 3x. It's optical or digital. That's zoom. optical. So and then on top of that, you do get uh, 3x digital. But digital zoom just makes the pigle, pixels bigger. Those are right. problems. This is a 2.1 megapixel camera. So right. you said that's good to up to a 5.7 printing. Yeah. Okay. Five that's by good seven. For that. You five also get look at that. Upload to the web. Don't use this to LCD aim because you'll blow yeah. through all of your battery life. But Not only that, you won't frame your shot correctly. That would be bad. Which, which happens a lot. It is nice to look at the picture after you've taken to see whether or not you want to see it. Right, to make sure, you know, if maybe you're on a trip or something, you want to make sure you didn't cut someone's, the top of someone's head off or you got everyone in the shot correctly. That's the great way to go. Buy lots and lots of memory. Get a bigger memory Definitely. card than one that comes Definitely. with it. Definitely. And th unfortunately, though it does take compact flash, it doesn't take the micro drive. So that's kind of that's kind of the downside to the uh, to the power shot. But otherwise, it's a great camera. Well, the micro drive also is going to kill the battery life. Right. That's true. Because it is a hard drive. Now we got to the cheap stuff. This yes. is an under $100 camera. There's a ton of these out there. This is the Jamcam 3.0. This one's interesting because, unlike most of the sub $100, I picked this one up. It's basically a rack of them by the checkout <laughs> um, at a, at a at stereo store. store. Actually, yeah. almost there. This one actually does have multimedia card input on there, and it also has USB to get those pictures out of there very quickly. Yeah, it's cheap. Nice. Pictures aren't great, 640 by 480, but if you want to give your kid a camera, this is a lot less expensive yeah. than buying lots and lots of film and paying to get it developed. It's great for small businesses. It's great if you've got little tiny pictures you need to put up on the web, right. insurance reports, stuff and like that. And that's what 640 by 480 is good for, just yeah. for the web. Just for the web.